Ryan Klo, it's good to catch up with you and see you virtually like this face to face. Just give everybody the quick rundown of where you're at right now. What are you doing these days? And most importantly, how have you been? Uh, I'm actually in Florida right now. Um, you know, once I got acclimated to the coming from Canada to the uh, California climate, I I knew I wasn't going to go back home to Newfoundland afterwards. So I we're in Florida. You know, once I was done playing, I got it. I was into coaching, uh, coaching for three or four years. Really enjoyed it. But last year was my first year kind of away from the game. I want to take some time off and make sure my health was uh, recovered and feeling good. So this last, you know, six months to, to a year besides the uh, the pandemic health, health wise, I've been feeling much better. So hopefully next year when things kind of get back to uh, a little normal in the NHL, I can kind of get back involved. And, I, I you know, I kind of miss being a, away from the game and away from hockey. So I, I love to get back eventually here. Being a dad can keep you super busy, can't it? Yes, uh, especially with my with my four year old, he's uh, very active. He's on the move, so yeah, it does. And and that's the thing, you know. I, I kind of have my mornings to myself, but once you know either school's over or uh, the kids get home, then it's kind of go time. So you think you kind of think like you know when you're done playing that you're not going to have you're going to have all this time in your hand, but hands. But it kind of adds up quick when you have kids and you know and a wife. It keeps you busy for sure. If you could go back to right before you cracked the NHL. With the Cleveland Barons, right? When you were in the AHL, you could go right back to being on the cusp of breaking into the National League again. What things would you do exactly the same in your career? And what things, if you could have a second chance, might you try a little bit differently? Well, I think um, I think early on, you know, when I was breaking in, um, for sure, I would have, you know, when I when the lockout, I think it was oh three oh four around there. Uh, happened. I had a really good year in the AHL. It was all the Sharks' top prospects, all the NHL's top prospects. So I really got a lot of confidence that year about how I played, and mm-hmm. and I, I really, you know, knew that next year going into training camp in San Jose, you know, this is, you know, I had a kind of a spot to lose, and I didn't want to mess it up. And I had a really good camp uh, produced. Started the season on a on a line with you know Marco Sturm and Patty Marlowe as a first line left winger. And I think the next night I was on the fourth line, and, and a couple of nights later, I think I was out of the lineup. So <laughs> I I was very – and you know what? I got sent down after, I think, a month or two months. And I was upset at the time because I felt like you know I was an NHL player, but I wasn't – it had nothing to do with the Sharks. It was all me. I wasn't playing well. I, I was watching too much. You know, I was a huge NHL fan. I knew every player. I knew uh, every player on every team. So all these guys that I was playing against, Rob Blake and – you know, Shane Doan and Chris Pronger and all these guys, I, I had too much respect. And as you know, I have a certain game that I have to play to be effective and I have to play with emotion, I have to play with physicality. And I wasn't doing that. So I regret, I wish I had to kind of, instead of dipping my toe in, I had to, which I did the, the following year, even though it still took me a little time to get in the lineup, I was mm-hmm. much more uh, focused on what I needed to do. I respected my opponents, but not in the way that it was going to keep me out of the league. So, so I wish I had to handle that better, but you know the biggest uh, the other part that uh, i was happy was when i got the opportunity next year um ronnie wilson played me a little bit with marlon thornton um and i was able to capitalize i, I had you know, i was able to win rookie of the month i think and, and it kind of came out of nowhere because i was kind of still being scratched at times so that was kinda, that was something where you know that was at that stage i knew i was kind of made the nhl and i was here mm-hmm. to stay and i had my confidence and usually that's what it is once you find your confidence you're, you're all set Full bore Ryan Klo was the best. I agree. <laughs> we should have got yes. should have got to full bore Chloe yeah. as soon as possible. 